For today's video, you can see it's kind of a mess in here. I have a lot of clothes everywhere, and that's because today I'm going to do a like how to assemble outfits slash capsule wardrobe slash summer outfit video. I don't know. It's mostly a how to assemble an outfit video. So I basically I'm gonna go through the basic tips that I use when I'm assembling an outfit and what I kind of keep in mind whenever I'm getting ready. Um, but I do use, I think like the same like 15 pieces for every single outfit in this video. And after I go through my basics of how to set up an outfit, I'm just gonna show you a bunch of outfits using those principles using a capsule wardrobe. So I'm really excited. For those of you who don't know, I do live in Utah, so some of these outfits are obviously for warmer climates. Um, I don't know. Hey Google, what's the weather? Right now it's 90 degrees and sunny. Today, it'll be clear with a forecasted high of 90 and a low of 58. Okay. If you ever want to know what time it is, just ask. Thanks. Okay, so yeah, so it's about 90 degrees. That's usually the average here, but if you guys have never been to Utah, Utah's weather changes like every day. It can change within five minutes. So some of these outfits do have some warmer cover-up pieces or some longer pants just because like one day it'll be 90 degrees and it's so hot and it feels hotter because it's so dry here so you go outside and there's no water in the air and I know sometimes like more human makes it feel more feels hotter I guess because you can't like sweat it off but man I just cannot breathe in Utah air and then the next day you'll go outside and it'll be raining and it'll be cloudy all day. And so that's why there's kind of like a balance of both. So you can find some spring outfits, some fall outfits, some summer outfits. They're all in this video. Um, I guess to start off, I guess, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Um, anyway, with that huge long intro, because I cannot keep my intro short and concise. Let's go ahead and get started. So my basic rules are if I'm wearing something tight on top, I don't like to wear something tight on bottom. I feel like it makes me look like I'm in a sausage casing or something. I don't think it looks flattering. That's my opinion. I totally think it's fine. I have worn stuff tight on bottom and tight on top. Type on, yeah, that was right. Type on bottom, type. That was not right. Tight on bottom, tight on top. Um, I do think there's times and places to break rules and obviously I don't even follow these rules all the time. It's just my general guidelines. Um, and similar, similarly, I hate that word. Um, I don't like to wear something loose on top and loose on bottom because I feel like it just loses your shape and even if it cinches in at the middle I feel like it still gives you a pretty rectangular shape in general so I like to if I'm wearing something loose on top I like to wear something tighter on the bottom and vice versa if I'm wearing something tight on the bottom I like to wear something looser on top just to kind of keep it more balanced help keep the shape of my figure and not like drench it in too loose of clothes, but not be like, I know it's not overexposed to wear too tight things, but it just, it looks awkward to me. Anyway, um, I will say my exception to this, if I am gonna wear something tight on top and tight on the bottom, I do like to pair it with like a looser shirt over or like a looser blazer over, cause then it still helps break up some of that shape 
I just like to mix my shapes. I think it's more visually interesting and complementary to your body type. Another, I think everyone knows this, but if you really do not know what to wear, just go with the all black, okay? Monochrome outfits always make it look like you are multi more pulled together than you actually are. And I think that's why in high school I only wore all black outfits all the time because I didn't have a sense of style and wearing black with black with black was the only thing that kind of made it look like I had a sense of style. Anyway, so obviously black on black is always a way to look like your outfit's more cohesive and it's pulled together and you thought about it. Along those same lines, the trend right now is the monochrome outfits. You can do this with so many color palettes. I did an outfit like this in my fall outfits of the week video, which I don't know why I'm referencing because I took it down to copyrights and I haven't reposted it because I thought posting a fall video in the summer was weird. Anyway, but with that one, I wore like a white top, I wore a cream cardigan, and then I wore these like baby pink pants. And it still falls under the monochrome-esque theme, but it's not all the same color because you do not, I don't want to, you can do what you want. And there's people who are. I don't like to wear stark white on top and stark white pants and stark white shoes with a stark white purse, okay? You can do that if you want to. I don't personally like to. I like to mix up my color palettes. And so my monochrome go-to, I actually mix my tans, my browns, and my yellows all together. Because in my opinion, wearing yellow pants with a, like a tan top, like this is all still in the same color palette relatively to me, which I have a video here. Um, but yeah, as you can see in this video, I actually have like a yellow, a cream, an orange, and a blue striped shirt with a brown leather skirt and a tan coat um, or blazer, tan blazer. I love pairing this with black, uh, not black, brown and knee high boots and it just, it's the monochrome look and I'm all in the same color palette but I'm not all in the exact, sa the <laughs> exact same shade of color. And that to me is just how I personally like to do the monochrome outfits. I did say I like to wear this with brown high heeled boots. I'm not wearing shoes in any of these outfits because the camera cropped off my shoes anyway. So I didn't feel like putting on shoes since you guys couldn't see them. Um, my last kind of styling tip has to do with dresses. I firmly believe that everyone needs just a really good summer dress and there that depends on the person what that dress may look like last year my go-to summer dress was actually sorry i'm just setting my lap just setting my laptop down last year my go-to summer dress was actually this tight overall corduroy mini dress i'll post a picture but this year i've kind of loosened up a little bit and my favorite go-to dress is this it's velvet it's black it has tan it has little bits of gold and it has like pink roses and i i love it it looks good on its own it um and it looks good with so many things i actually bought this dress in venice at a little stand that didn't even have a name like, I don't even know what the name of the store was because I swear it didn't have one on it. And I got it for like six American dollars, which is great. It's great price, great price. And I wear it all the time. Anyway, um, I can wear this dress so many different ways. I can wear it on its own, which is cute. I think it's great. I definitely do that when it's really, really hot outside because I don't want to layer. But I usually don't wear plain just because I think it's a little boring. Um, ways I love to style this dress, I can put a turtleneck underneath. I actually did this when I wore it in Venice. I have, I'll post some pictures because I want to reminisce because I can't travel this year. Anyway, um, 
I also love wearing it with my tan blazer, of course. This is actually the outfit that I wore in my wedding dress shopping video. I'm gonna put a card here. It may be on this side. I don't, I don't know the logistics that well. Um, and then I also will just wear it with this corduroy blue over shirt from Zara. I think it kind of gives it like a little like artist vibes. I usually wear that with my like combat black heel shoes. And yeah, I think it's just like a little bit of punk, a little bit of rock, a little bit of artist, a little bit of girly flowy, whatever that style is. But yeah, and I love it. Another great summer dress I've been wearing over and over and over again this year is this little green plaid dress. I actually got this secondhand from Plato's Closet. Um, based on the tag, it says it's from Cotton On. So I guess it's originally from Cotton On. And I think it's really cute. It's just really simple. It goes great on its own. Again, I if it is a little bit of a colder day, I do pair that with that tan blazer, just because I feel like blazers are a good way to layer up in the summer because I don't want an actual jacket because that's way too hot and obviously I don't want a coat. So I feel like a blazer is a great fit, is a great way to layer up, keep warm on those colder days, but not freaking die. All right, so that is all of my outfit assembly tips. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but here we go with some of those bonus outfits using the same capsule wardrobe pieces. So I would say my main tips for doing kind of like a capsule wardrobe is to stick with kind of a similar color palette. I mean, you can have those pops of color, but I keep it pretty neutral. So most of my clothes are black and like brown slash tan. Um, just because it's really neutral, goes with everything, as you can see. It's gonna make matching your things a lot easier, even if you do have a graphic tee. I have this Guns N' Roses graphic tee. I love this one because it matches the color palette of everything in my wardrobe. And that is what I suggest to you while picking a graphic tee, is pick one that has the colors of your wardrobe palette, because it's gonna make it so it matches with all of your clothing. All right, so that is all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Um, let me know down below what your favorite outfit was. Um, I'll have all the product links down below for everything that I was able to find. Some of my pieces are thrifted or bought from like secondhand stores. I guess that would still be thrifted. I just don't consider like Plato's Closet a thrift shop, but I guess it's still secondhand, so anyway. Um, for anything that I can't find, I'll try to post similar things down below. Um, I think most of my, like, basics that I did thrift, they're just, like, black skinny jeans, which you could find, like, anywhere, <laughs> so. Um, yeah, so let me know down below what your favorite outfit was. Let me know if you liked this type of video. Um, yeah, if you just want to see more fashion videos or if you're just, like, <laughs> Maria, you got no sense of style. Stop making outfit videos. So anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. You don't have to. I'm not going to force you to. But yeah, have a great day, everyone.